And welcome to your Gold Market Update charts of interest for today, Friday the 20th of January. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Overnight, we saw another weak session in the US. We had a late sell-off and closed near the lows of the session. And this was sort of fueled by concerns about the Fed and being aggressive with interest rates going forward after some slightly warmer than expected weekly jobs data. On the positive side, we did see Netflix, who reported their earnings after the bell, jump around about 7% in after hours trading. Uh, long may that continue into next week when we see earnings season ramp up significantly. US futures on the back of that earnings report are positive in early Asian trading. Asian indices are mixed, but the ASX is ignoring that weaker US lead and trading mildly positive to start the day, up around a quarter of 1%. European equity futures are pointed to a cautious open, but that may change if we get some more buying into US futures, and the VIX is still trading around that key 20 level. The US dollar index was weaker overnight and nearing those eight month lows again. We saw gold pop over 1925 and copper gain again, and it's trading around 425, so over that critical 420 level. Oil, as we reported yesterday, failed to breach resistance and indeed. We have seen a pullback from that in trading overnight. Bitcoin really has paused after surging earlier in the week to around the 21,000 level. It'll be interesting to see whether it holds the short term range that it's been trading in since Monday. Earnings season will remain in focus for the next two or three weeks. We have a quieter day today, but we'll see it ramp up significantly next week. On the data front, we've got the People's Bank of China interest rate decision, German PPI, UK retail sales and US housing numbers, the data highlights for today. Remember, of course, it is Friday, so we may get some repositioning after the week that's been. And let's have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning. Linus Corp is certainly worth a look. We've had a nice pop in Linus on the ASX. After retracing back to this 200 MA, we've seen it push higher again. This would represent our highest close since late November. And so there does appear to be some buying pressure coming into this. If we see a continuation of this, then certainly a move up just around and um, possibly a little over this $9 level looks as though it could be on the cards. Possibly 8 to 80 is the level to get really interested in this. Uh, and that would represent a fairly healthy 3.75% with plenty of upside potential subsequently. Certainly looks as though this particular sector and some of the specialist metals are back in favour again with markets. In the FX world, after a really choppy week, looking at the Aussie dollar, we're looking at it against the yen. We had a pullback to around about this 88.65 level here on the daily chart. We're retesting 89 at this stage. This looks like an important technical level if we look at the hourly chart. So if we push through this, we could see some buying coming in, possibly up to, in the first instance, around about 85 50, which is around this level here that you can see. Uh, subsequently, we may move higher again if we breach that. But this could be one to watch throughout the day if we see some continued strength in that Aussie dollar. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.